Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. It is round four of the chess nerd chess.com tournament. It's a rapid tournament, 10 minutes plus zero second increment. We have a Vienna. We're currently on two and a half out of three points. Oh, my opponent knows his theory, okay. I know my theory as well. Technically this is theory, but I prefer this. Oh wow, he really knows this, all right. I've, I, I I get it, mate. I get it. Take. Here my brain goes a little fuzzy. It does go a little fuzzy, in all honesty. I want to say knight e2. But it could easily be d4 or d3. Could easily be. Hmm. I'm going to go knight e2 first. I'm honestly not that booked up on this exact line because most people don't know it, but my opponent just blitzed it out. So fair play to him. He knows his theory. This is going to make it a little bit harder to try and win this because I don't think we really have an advantage out of the opening. And also, you know, queens are just off the board immediately. But hey-ho, let's see what we can do. Should be six, okay. Uh, knight d4, c5. Mm, don't know. <clears throat> Rook b1, I don't think, does a whole lot. Knight f4. Knight f4, I'm not sure about. Maybe we can try and play f6. Sorry, e6. Um, maybe this. I'm not gonna lie, although that's really simplistic, it looks like a decent plan. Like, <laughs> it just looks like a decent plan. Just going after the pawn in the silliest way possible. Yeah, my opponent can't defend it, and now I get to play d4. Boys, we're cooking. Now we're cooking. We're up a pawn. My opponent's structure is horrific. My structure is beautiful. And we're good. We're good. Okay, that was weird, but it worked. Now let's try and convert this. I don't know where to put my pieces. Really. I don't know where they belong. I really don't know where they belong. I have no idea. Um. Okay, let me think about this a second. Let me think. Because I'm up a pawn with a good structure, but my pieces don't seem to flow. They don't seem to flow. Let's start with rook b1. Just because this is an active rook. Bishop to c4. I can meet with a4. That should be fine. And then like bishop b5. I can just play something like bishop, sorry, rook to f4 and bring the rook back. My king feels a little bit weak, but like there's already been two sets of minor pieces and the queens that have come off the board, so I should be okay. <clears throat> f6 kind of concerning, but it should be okay. Let's trade. Um, he wants to come here, clearly. I'm going to go h4 because I want to bring my king over. But I don't want to allow bishop to g5 to go after the bishop. Ooh. I don't know how I just inspected my page. Okay, h6, that's fine. E6, F5. 
Then I have this though. And I have moves like this. E6 looks like a good idea to me. Now that his rook has vacated the E file, I want to try and liberate my pieces a bit. And I mean, I know I was saying how much I love that structure, but I've got to be pragmatic as well. Let's take. Let's go here. I mean, this is all right. This is all right. It, like, my opponent is active, which I'd rather him not be. But we're doing all right. <laughs> I'm just a bit worried about the bishop getting here. I'm a little bit worried about it. Something like g5. It's g5, h5, g4. Well, then I can block with the knight, actually. <clears throat> so that's okay. He could try and go after my a4 pawn with uh, rook a1. Rook a1, how do I even respond to that? I I can't really defend this. Ooh, okay. Oh. That was silly. Why did I do that? How is this guy at 1500? Anyway, he's way too good for a 1500. Um, this isn't me accusing him of anything. He's probably just underrated. Oh, God. Well, we're down a piece. That's not good. That's really not good. All right. Ugh. Frustrating. Yeah. Well, what I'm going to try and do is get a past day pawn. That's my best bet. <clears throat> because what these pawns are doing well is stopping his rook from helping. Could just go to g1 and then a1 but let's hope he doesn't that's odd what what i feel like he's just thrown it away why has he done that he just gave me his C-pawns for no reason. And he didn't even go king to h5. Go after this. What? That is so strange. Then I'm going to push this. I, I'm so confused. This isn't me trying to bully my opponent or anything like that. I'm just genuinely confused. Oh, that's a good move. But can I do this first? Or have I just given that pawn away for no reason? Oh no, he's taken it. I don't think he had to take that. Again, I think he's rushed that decision. And then maybe we're back to winning, potentially. This has been such a weird game, honestly. Such a weird game. Um, I guess we'll defend it. Why? He's probably fine, but like, I don't get it. Why is he giving me the pawn? It's, it's probably still a draw, but like, just strange. It's 
really strange. <clears throat> well, we can try and push this for a win. I'm going to try, of course. I don't know if the double pawns are viable or not, but they might march up well together. They're doing it so far. Maybe he can trade, try and trade rooks. Although I could just go c4. And then this would be losing for black. Check. Making some progress. This is such a weird game. Honestly. What is going on? Check. Push. Good move. Then I can come around to the other side. Threaten mate. Okay, he's played that well. Mm. Maybe it is a draw. Maybe it is. But let's see what we can do. What can we do? Let's cover my king up first. <clears throat> That's step one. I don't know if I have a way through here, to be honest. I'm just trying. But it might just be a drawn rook end game, as many of them are. Mm. I don't think that does anything. I'm thinking of doing this, but that doesn't do anything. Hmm. Maybe putting this pawn on c6 wasn't good. Maybe I had to put my king on the sixth rank. Not sure. Now I can do this. Maybe that's progress. I don't know. But it board looks a little different, eh? I don't know if that does anything, but we're going to try it. I'm going to try and shield my king again. <clears throat> yeah, I think my opponent's locked this down, to be honest. His, um, his technique looks really, really good. And honestly, I might get flagged, so... I might just have to take a draw. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure this is a complete draw. And let me just go back a few moves. This is a draw. Uh, was it ever a win? This is a win. That's not a win. Okay, this is a win. For whatever reason. <laughs> I probably would never have been able to convert that anyway. My opponent got a brilliant move though. But... Yeah, I just don't know why he took on a7, because he could just retreat the bishop. Um, 
What was I supposed to do here? Just ignore him. Okay. That was very scuffed from both of us. I was completely winning. And then I blundered it with d5. No, not d5, sorry, with d6. Because I can't take the bishop with this. And then I lose my rook. But, you know what? You know what? My opponent, for some reason, has like an insane record in this tournament so far. Drew with 2,000, beat a 2,100, beat a 2,000. I, I don't No, he's, he's got like 6,000 games, so bad play, bad play. I mean, he made loads of mistakes anyway. He was clearly not cheating. But yeah, um, I wonder if there was a better way I could have gone about this. I think F1 was a great move. Then I messed it up at some point. King D1. So I, I had to go King D2. And I couldn't decide between them. Because on one hand, I'm worried about this. But then on the other hand, if the king's on D1, I'm worried about this. So I just couldn't figure it out. And I chose the wrong one, unfortunately. But that's life. That's life. I really should have seen that, though. That was very obvious. But we fought our way back. And my opponent made a bunch of mistakes. I made a bunch of mistakes. And it ended in a draw. And you know what? That's probably a fair result. That's probably a fair result. Um, in terms of the standings, that puts us fourth out of like 30 so far. So that's not bad. We've got two more rounds to go. Um, if you haven't seen the previous episodes of this series, then the playlist will be linked below. So check that out. If you've already watched those episodes, though, YouTube is going to be recommending you a video right here that it thinks you're really going to enjoy. So click on that. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.